Hello everybody, Tortoise Investing. It is currently Tuesday. This video is going to be coming out on Wednesday morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be top 5 dividend stocks you can buy and hold forever. And this is going to be for my high yield lovers out there. These are all 3% or more. One of them is 2.95%. Don't hate me on that. It is one red day away from being 3%. But I just thought it was at such a really good value that you'd still like to take a look at it. And we're sitting at 181 subscribers. If you are new, please hit that red button. Let's march on to 200 and 2,000 and just keep on keeping on and grow this together. Join me on this financial journey. And whenever you watch something, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below that helps with literally everything of getting the video around it makes the algorithm super happy and i greatly greatly appreciate it now without further ado one of the stocks are bank of montreal i know that there's a lot of chaos going on with the banks right now but if you're looking for a high yielder bank of montreal now the thing that i really do like about this is it is above 4.26 percent dividend yield so that is a heck of a compounder if you are one of those high dividend yield seekers and uh, it's got a good revenue, net income, EPS, EBITDA, everything ticking in the right direction, as I say. Um, they do have their dividend growth kind of all over the place, but again, uh, it is they are increasing it. Um, again, good compounder, and uh, this is a very reliable bank in my eyes. Uh, yeah, it was victim over the past little bit of uh, all the chaos that's been going on with the banks. And, you know, I feel like it's at a good price point, especially under 90. I feel like you can't really go wrong with this one. Um, yeah, next up on our list is Philip Morris International. This right here is one of our SIN stocks. Got a free cash flow of 6.44%, dividend yield of 5.13%. With these SIN stocks, of course, payout ratio is a little high, but that is no problemo. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numberinos here. So, revenue, pretty even. EBITDA, everything looks good. Checking out, checking out. They do have a slow but steady dividend increase. Which you like to see, especially with something that's got above a 5% dividend yield. Uh, their return on capital employed, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, again, with a lot of these high yielders, you're not going to see the typical stuff that I personally like to see in stocks. This is more for people that like to get those big dividends and just let them compound away. But uh, yeah, Phil Morris International, another nice one. Uh, it has a dividend growth history of 14 years. Again, it's got a dividend growth, even though it not be all that high. 2.8% over the last one year, 2.9% over the last three years, 3.6% over the last five years. I mean, it's on par or a little bit better than what typical inflation is. So yeah, there's another one for you. We got HP Inc., HPQ. We have a dividend yield of 7.58%, and it's got a dividend, blah, 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 a free cash flow yield of 7.58%. Uh, it's got a dividend yield of 3.76%, payout ratio of 40%. So another one, pretty much ticking all the right boxes there. Uh, revenue over the last little bit's been going in the right direction. Uh, this right here is what I call a if Warren Buffett trusts it, so do I. <laughs> This is one of the bigger holdings in his portfolio. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Uh, it's got dividend growth over the last 13 years. Well, look at this right here. Over the last one year, 21.78%. Over the last three years, 15.52%. Over the last five years, 13.51%. So, yeah, what you like to see. You like, uh, you like dividend? You like dividend growth? You like something that Warren Buffett has as 10th in his overall portfolio for Berkshire? Yeah, give it a look at. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got Vici. I love Vici. I recently got back in the Vici whenever it dipped down to 32 bucks. I just, I can't help it. I love this company too much. I have a problem. Either way, Vici's got free cash flow yield 6.26%. Has dividend yield of over 4.7%. Nice. Of course, payout ratios when it comes to REITs, we do not look at payout ratio. We look at funds from operation. You got to look up the FFO when it comes to these. Now, the revenue, EBITDA, free cash flow, pretty much everything with Vici is just, I love it. This is one of the best REITs in my eyes. This and American Tower Corp. I just absolutely love it. Can't get enough of it. And the thing is, that high dividend yield going to be compounding. 
It has been increasing its dividend over the last four years. And if you look here, at an average rate over 8%, that is absolutely amazing in my eyes, especially for a re that's got a yield as high as Vici's does. Vici's knocking it out of the park. Alrighty, now next up. Now this is the one I told you... Uh, it is right there at 3%, so please don't hate me for that. It's 2.95%. It's a red day away from hitting that 3% mark. It's Home Depot. I just I feel like it is too good to not talk about, especially at these prices at $283 a share for Home Depot. It's got a free cash flow yield 3.99%. This is going to be more of a what I typically look for. <laughs> uh, it's got a dividend yield of 2.95% as I it, currently. It's got a payout ratio of 46%. Again, revenue, EBITDA. Free cash flow has slowly been trickling down a little bit, but a lot of places have been having issues, especially after 2020. Net income, EPS is growing, dividend growth. They just announced a 10% dividend increase. Very nice, very, very nice. Return on capital employed is absolutely ridiculous, and they are doing share buybacks, which is very, very nice. Definitely would consider this a forever stock. All of these, especially if you're a high dividend yielder, are very reliable. In my eyes, not financial advice, just letting you know. It's been increased this dividend for over the last 14 years. Take a look at that dividend growth rate. Over the last one year, 15.15%. Over the last three years, 11.7%. Over the last five years, 16.38%. Very nice. Very nice rapid dividend growth. But yeah, guys, that is a quick look at the top five high yielding 3% or higher. Uh, dividend stocks I think you could buy and hold forever and just let it compound away. Again, if you're just looking for that high dividend yield, something that you know is going to be able to reliably pay out month over month. I don't think you can go wrong with either of these. Again, not financial advice. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, see you.